Hi, everyone on the chat. Maybe everyone can also um, share where they are zooming in from and which hackathon location they actually want to join. That would be super interesting for us. We want to keep it as interactive as possible. So, uh, yeah, it's not a, like a meeting setup because we have a follow up um, webinar right after. But do not hesitate to use, especially the QA chat window, or even raise your hand, which we can also let you in to ask questions. Uh, we will cover quite a bit of topics today. So, um, if you can already start. Um, asking your questions on the Q&A tab under the screen that you are seeing us, uh, it will be great. Yeah, so right after this, we will have the um, a session together with Meta about funding opportunities. Um, maybe someone can share the link in the chat. It's going to be the same um, Zoom link, so you can just stay a little bit if, you, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, Fian, should we get started? We have a big agenda to cover. <laughs> yeah, so um, what do we start with? So um, we have like a participant package prepared for everyone, which for everyone who already registered and got their confirmed um, participation, we will send it out on Monday. If we have time a little bit later, I will definitely share it already here. Um, but yeah, if you already have questions um, about any of the hack locations, anything um, that is super critical for you, you know, please already put it in the Q&A so that we, are, we know that we will already definitely answer that and um, take it in. But we have a few announcements. Um, uh, yeah, Ferhan, maybe you want to take over for now? Yes, definitely, definitely. So uh, yeah, as you can see, uh... Our local organizers and the global team working very hard for the last couple of uh, months to find the best masterminds and mentors for the hackathon because without networking, without learning from each other, without failing, a hackathon uh, does not uh, fulfill its promise, right? So that's for us very important to really uh, fulfill uh, this by bringing the top people on different uh, topics. So as you probably know, some of the names, some of them are also very, uh, I would say, celebrities. Uh, so we are happy to have uh, lots of companies and uh, uh, studios experts, masterminds, mentoring for you, being there for you, hacking, uh, helping your hacking process and make sure that it's a success for you and for the industry. So we are really excited to kick off this. Uh, I will not go into one by one because it will take probably a few hours, but um, I hope that it will help not only you, but others to join even uh, multiple hackathons. By the way, we were talking about that. This is actually possible if you want to meet everyone here. Unfortunately, it, not everyone is in the same place. So you need to really join at least maybe a few of them. But uh, definitely every location has their own uh, very nice mentors uh, and judges there as well as workshop. Uh, so we will a little bit talk about that as well in the next couple of slides. Yeah, and since there was already a very, very important Q&A question, I just want to say that um, it's not possible to build on projects um, from the past. <laughs> so you can definitely already brainstorm ideas before the hack. Um, and we definitely encourage you to also use the Discord to form your teams, um, but you can only ideate before. So you have to start hacking and developing on site at the hack. Uh, one thing maybe I can mention is uh, ideation is possible. So you can ideate with your team or by yourself. You can really brainstorm. As long as you don't, you don't start your repo or start writing your code, uh, ideation is definitely possible. Or you can even, because some people are coming as a team, so they can already start thinking about this as long as they don't start writing even one line of code. That's very important. If otherwise, you will not be eligible for uh, any kind of uh, price or uh, funding uh, coming for this hackathon. And Maybe. yeah, next slide. Yeah. Um, we have a few 
important days, um, which as a hacker, you should definitely remember. Um, one of them, them is our online uh, workshop day. So we want you to come as prepared as possible to the hack. So we have a few very, very in, in, um, like interesting topics lined up. You can already see them here on the slide. Yeah, I can maybe quickly mention, um, we have already a lot of uh, courses, as you know, uh, and lots of uh, also Udemy uh, and uh, YouTube tutorials out there that you can already learn a lot about mixed reality development, which is the focus of this hackathon. Uh, but we want to give some uh, like imagine like this, like a painkiller, small uh, pill that you take, and then it will help you to uh, survive in this two to two, two to three days of hackathon because the time is short. Uh, every minute matters, right? On a hackathon environment, we want to make sure that uh, you get tips from best experts before uh, starting. So um, since uh, this is a little bit a different kind of hackathon setup, as you know, we are on four destinations. It is not easy to bring every kind of um, workshop to every location, which even though they will have their own in-person workshops, we want to create a standard of know-how sharing or know-how transfer. So uh, we create this live workshop day. And um, this will be also available for all hackers that they can also rewatch, uh, maybe go deep as well. Uh, but still we expect all hackers to join there so that they can actually benefit. Um, it says three to 5 p.m. CET, but uh, because of the uh, maybe uh, a lot of uh, different uh, uh, pro like a, a topics that we will cover, it might be a little bit uh, later than that because we will also do uh, some team formation session and a little bit of info session there as well. So it may be maybe even 6, 7 p.m. Uh, the, the full schedule will be shared with you in the next week, I would say. So maybe we can go to the next one. Yeah, ideation team formation, maybe Rahel, you can mention. Yeah, so um, there is a few people who already applied as a team, which is great. Um, but uh, then we want to give everyone else who doesn't have a team yet uh, to have the opportunity to yeah, get um, like just have the chance to meet people live and online. So we are going to um, host live events like this one, but like in a regular Zoom session where everyone can see it, um, see um, each other so that everyone can maybe, if they already have a project idea, um, present their project ideas and then people who want to join this project idea or think that's a cool project idea, uh, they can already um, yeah, connect and say, hey, it would be cool if we do a team together at the hack. So we are going to send invites to these team formation sessions soon. And then also you can, of course, join the Discord. We also have for each location, we have team formation channels there. So there's already people writing there. So feel free to just, if someone presents an idea that you really like, or um, someone says, I'm looking for a team, yeah, feel free to already just exchange and um, yeah, and and uh, know that you want to build a team together. We will have time on site to finalize team formation, um, but it will be only like one hour or something like that. So you need to be really ready and quickly, and it would be better, like recommended to already team your um, yeah, form your team beforehand. But if you can join any of the sessions or if you can't make it to the Discord, then of course you can also build a team on site. You want to say something about the challenge categories now? Definitely. Actually, uh, this is something that uh, if you are already familiar with other uh, meta uh, related hackathons that uh, this is uh, in a similar category so as you know meta is looking for more unique mixed reality ideas apps uh, and these three categories are actually fitting to these uh, uh, these three categories uh, and um, always imagine that how can i create um, maybe an uh, interesting app that actually people maybe thousands of people uh, would bother to put their headset and start using it, right? Because there's still a, an entry, like a, a level of entry, like a barrier of entry, right? That you, when you want to use something, uh, an app or VR app and XR app on a headset, you need, you need to open a set. It's not as convenient as a smartphone, as you can imagine. So we want to make sure that you think of a very interesting idea and then uh, actually uh, 
uh, imagine that how it could be possible. So that's very important for us to 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 uh, show that uh, you are actually thinking about that. Uh, we will also talk a little bit about the categories in a few minutes, but I just want to tell you that especially um, hobby skills building has a very specific, like a, I want to learn maybe playing piano or uh, uh, or any specific skill building. So uh, make sure that you are actually uh, thinking something unique, which is not being uh, available uh, on App Lab or uh, the, the store. Um, and also not available on uh, the previous hackathons, which I will give actually a few uh, a few links with you to to so that you can check while you are ideating already. And utility design about much more like how I can um, solve a problem. Like let's say I want to re-imagine uh, my room. Uh, and I want to uh, design it, and then I want to use the capabilities of mixed reality and meta presence platform. So uh, this kind of like a, a use cases are uh, very well uh, received by meta and by by the uh, judges so far. So try to find uh, some kind of like a um, idea that actually solves a problem. And the last category, it says gaming, but I can definitely say that the tabletop casual uh, games are probably uh, more prioritized uh, compared to a typical VR game or uh, or like a typical games that are already very popular on the store uh, especially on the MR side uh, we are uh, the, the judges will be expecting some kind of like a social and casual or tabletop uh, type of games so let's maybe take some questions uh, because I see some questions is there anything that we need to answer? Uh, do we have any question that we need to answer or shall we continue? It looks good, right? Everything is being answered as well as I see. So uh, let's uh, let's continue with these three categories. Um, and this is actually very interesting to, to see maybe different kind of um, uh, subcategories here. Uh, of course, these are uh, the ones that are already... Uh, produced so you need to find unique ideas that's the value of hackathon right creating unique ideas especially um on the help me have fun in mr is as you can imagine social social gaming uh, uh, either board games casual games uh, virtual pets is also part of it uh, so uh, we just want to these are not definitely not the only category subcategories but we just want to tell you that how actually um um each uh, successful example is actually going under these uh, main categories. For example, help me have fun. You see like a board game is definitely a casual game or at least a social game that you can play multiplayer uh, and a tabletop game. And then under that, it's actually a demio, probably, you know, resolution games uh, game that is very popular right now on the store. And on the help me pursue an interest in MR is hobbies and skills building category. For example, learning an instrument, cooking new recipe, uh, or I don't know, like a, a help me learn how to read tarot cards, you know, like whatever you think it makes sense. So people are bringing their subject matter expertise or interest uh, to these hackathons and then creating unique um, experiences here. Um, and uh, actually Paradiddle, uh, the the Rams experience uh, studio lead Emre will be with us in the next forty two minutes. He will not only share about his app, but uh, he will also share how he actually uh, starts his journey from App Lab and how he succeed in terms of monetization. And the last one is help me solve a problem in MR. Um, any it can be any category as long as it's like a utility design or solving a problem it fits perfectly uh, as you can see for example travel planning weaving places world is one of them uh, it can be anything uh, so uh, home decoration as i mentioned photography taking care of plants so these are very like a, just a small ideas that actually worked and then uh, very well uh, received uh, it's up to you up to your imagination how would you like to uh, bring 
the superpowers of mixed reality and quest 3 for your own uh, game and app um yeah now we can maybe introduce thomas <laughs> who's here from the cologne team do you want to say a few words about exahack and cologne sure hi welcome my name is Thomas. I'm from Cologne. I'm a tech journalist from Cologne and joining you as the local director here in Cologne, Germany. And I saw already a couple of people from Germany and also from Cologne. They might X up again in chat if they want to, if they like to. Yeah. And um, I might uh, tell you a little bit about the location. Uh, actually, I've prepared a little bit as soon as I am capable of sharing my screen, shouting out uh, the, the app Should be working now? Yes. It's working. Now I need to find my screen. Here we go. All right. So. So this is the wrong one. Take this one. All right. Okay. So we will be at Startplatz in Cologne. And Startplatz is a well-known startup incubator and co-working space. It's actually the biggest one in Northern Westphalia um, and uh, has been there for about over 10 years now. And um, yeah, it's I have even some 3D stuff going on. Where is it? Here. When you step on media park it's a big space you can already see that and um, it will be the house with the number five this one maybe you already know that space because of the cinema here's a big cinema around here we have also a fitness and a pool here and it will be in the first and in the third floor the hackathon will be in the first and the third floor and if you wonder what else is around here we have almost everything you actually need. There are a couple of restaurants down here, down here, and we have great restaurants here. And of course, the cinema is full of cafes and restaurants and bistros. We have also some kiosks over here. And um, you, can, you have even a restaurant on top of this building here. So there you can actually go and make great pictures above there. So that's it's actually a great location. And uh, if you step into the location it will look something like this so you step out of the um, elevator and enter startplatz that's the third floor where friendly people will welcome you to our hackathon <clears throat> okay and how does it actually look so when you arrive at uh, sunday you will join us first in the first location and you will enter here where the red dot is. And um, we have the, a very big room, which is called Barcelona, where will be the um, greeting and uh, welcoming and also the first um, team forming and stuff like that going on. Also, we have here a big area, the social area in green and also this the, the brown one, Rome, where we will have some breakfast for you prepared and this is the space where you will always find food. You will always find food there. Um, uh, probably when you don't, when, when you leave something. <laughs> um, but we will take care of you as best as we can. So as soon as we see something is missing, you will of course fill it up. And then when the hackathon starts, you all move to the third floor, and um, then you will enter here where the red dot is, and every room which is brown is a room where you can hack. So we have uh, big rooms over here, Köln, Bonn, San Francisco, Berlin, Vienna, and Prague. And we will have room for about 100 people. Um, and uh, we have a great balcony also. So probably Bonn and Cologne will be the most popular ones to be in actually, because uh, we have a great view and I will show you the view right now. So, this is the view from above also, but I also have, of course, a 3D or a, yeah, a panorama version of it. So if you 
look down from the balcony, it will actually look like this. So this is the overview over Media Park where it all will happen. This is the big tower actually almost correctly rendered. And we have a great lake here, um, a nice fountain. And it's a, just a great place to hang out and actually get inspired. It's a very inspiring view, to be honest. I enjoy it every time I come here. And I had a lot of meetups here. Um, as you can see, for example, here, that's one of the last meetups. Um, I am also the organizer of a Cologne XR meetup where most of the times about 100 people join us to network to, um, yeah, hear some great presentations, some great projects. Um, yeah, as you can see, they also have a uh, uh, soccer table. And um, yeah, what else can I tell? Oh, I can tell something about this. So this is me on the left side and on the rest, right side is Christian. Christian is also the second local director in Cologne. He will also take care about you and uh, take care that everything will be fine. Right now he cannot be with us because he is actually um, trying to survive on a boat somewhere on a German uh, river. I don't know which one, but he's in vacation and will join us tomorrow. All right, so I guess that's it for now, depending uh, concerning the location. And there might be probably some questions. I don't see them right now in this moment. I, I can answer. Actually, there's one question from Suleiman, Suleiman Sami. How many team members are needed? Uh, needed, uh, don't see, see this as a needed because you can join as a solo hacker, but you need to be part of a team. So that's why these team formation sessions we have just mentioned is perfect fit for you. But if you want to come as a team that you have an idea that you want to fulfill, uh, the teams are changing from two to five. Uh, it's up to you if you are coming as a team. There are also some teams, they are saying that, okay, we are two people, but we need one UX designer, for example. And they can also join the team formation sessions to make sure that they fill the all the functions needed. Um, I think uh, Albert is also coming from Stockholm now, as far as I see. Just give us uh, uh, one second so we can promote him as a panelist. Uh, and then uh, let's see what's happening a little bit in the north. So it's like it's like a, a weather broadcast. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we just had a thunderstorm in Cologne, actually. So ah, okay. So know. okay, Albert, uh, how is the weather there? Are you recommending? Yeah, the weather is great. I'm trying to get the camera on side here. Okay. So we are, we are really burning yeah. here uh, in summer. Maybe Stockholm can be a nice location that we are a little bit. Uh, getting rid of uh, quite humidity here in uh, south of Europe. Yeah, it's 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 not as warm. We have 23, uh, 23 degrees here in Stockholm. Uh, the morning was beautiful. The we are actually looking for the heat of the sun. So having a bit of sun was was actually beautiful, and uh, it was a magical day today. Amazing, amazing. Maybe you can also a little bit mention about uh, uh, the organization, uh, local organization, and uh, what kind yes, of, of course. interesting um, things you can I, I for didn't us. do any. I got a little bit of a, 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 a excited here when uh, Thomas is showing so nice pictures of uh, uh, Cologne. Um, I do. I did not prepare that, but let let's um, just discuss where we're going to have the 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 event. The event is going to be itself at Epicenter. Um, hopefully, a lot of you out there uh, who's going to attend the Swedish knows about Epicenter. Um, it's it's a it's a big conference uh, center focusing on innovation and innovation power for large and scale up companies. So it's a, it's a tremendous uh, uh, venue. We're going to start on the on the Friday of the 6th of September. And we are making a grand opening there and it's gonna be open for, for people coming from the outside. Um, at three o'clock when we open the doors, we're gonna have people, serial entrepreneurs who comes uh, talk about understanding innovation. We're gonna have a lot of people from even from the academia. And we also will have um, 
one who's making a PhD in storytelling, talking about and, and problemizing uh, how do you really tell a story in XR uh, in the future. We have one of Sweden's best teachers who's going to talk about uh, understanding where we are 13 years from now. Um, what do we need to learn? How do we need to reshape our schools to fit into a system? Um, we have Volvo Cars uh, Tech Fund coming over. An ex, um, um, he, he's actually a, 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 a space scientist, uh, scientist <laughs> uh, that is uh, now doing all the investment for Volvo. And Volvo is a great investor in, in XR, probably the biggest one in when it comes to um using the technology in industrial uh, sense in sweden um we also actually cleared it today we will have um stockholm university of the arts that is actually making all the movies in sweden uh, they will both be uh, working in the judge but also having a, a, a panel discussion on how do we prepare and discuss things uh, and, and story tell Together with the modern museum and Naum, not an ordinary museum, um, Jan Bruman, who is also the founder of Fotografiska Museet, the museum. I don't know if if they open up in in Germany already, but they 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 are in New York and and other places. So great setup. We will have a lot of C-suite people coming in and and just having them to mingle and to get to know the the people hacking and uh yeah that's that that's what we want to do bring creatives uh people from academia and people from the from the business with the money uh and 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 scramble it and uh see what we get out of it 3 days later amazing amazing uh, we have actually uh, one more location uh, here today. I know, Oytun, if you want to also join. Albert, thank you for your... Thank you, everyone. Uh, very nice. There are already some people who decide to now come to Stockholm. So yes, uh, I, hope, good. I hope you have enough coffee. <laughs> they enough they need coffee. to sign up now because it's, the, 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 yeah, it's, <laughs> we're going to be short I mean, on, on, on spaces. Yes. I promise you that. Exactly. I mean, uh, to be honest, it's a rolling basis, by the way, everyone. If you have friends or studios that you know of, uh, Whenever the 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 um, uh, capacity is reached, unfortunately, we have to close the, the some of the locations applications. So uh, we need to direct you to other locations. So in some locations, actually, we come to really a level that we are uh, very carefully uh, selecting the new applications. So please, uh, if you haven't applied with your team or alone, uh, please uh, do that now or today. Uh, so that you will not be um, rejected at the end. Uh, Oytun is with us from Istanbul team. Uh, that's very nice to see you, Oytun, here. So would you like to say a few words? Uh, especially we know the location. It's a little bit uh, interesting location. So maybe you can let me share about that. Hello. Nice to be here. Um, yes, ex exactly. We are located right at the center of uh, both continents actually Asian and the European side where they merge we are right at the Bosporus we have a very beautiful view but in addition to that we are the main center of game design and game development both in Istanbul and Tur Turkey so there have been there is a at least 10 years of experience of bug lab uh, designing games and also it was the place where the first virtual reality laboratory was uh, opened so we still continue to focus on xr development with a very great detail and we have also great partners from all around istanbul and turkey who is going to support us and we believe that it's going to be a really great event and it will show a great product quality at the end thank you very much so so uh, one one promise that i would like to hear from you if i'm a hacker and i'm a little bit like uh, exhausted or overwhelmed of how to move forward or i'm stuck can i go to your terrace and then look at both europe and uh, asia and then a little bit uh, like distract myself and then go back is it allowed 
Yes, of course, that's our promise. Uh, we always allow you to do that. I mean, you will see that the, it's we're at the center of the historical uh, uh, center of Istanbul. We can have a very beautiful view, but that will work as a resting place for you. So we are expecting from all of our hackers to work on their beautiful products. And at the end, maybe we can give them as much as time as they want to spend their night even there. So we are yeah. looking forward and we are very excited. Amazing. Yeah, definitely. There will be probably some uh, network uh, events happening there as well. Yeah, so planning. that's 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 great. So um, are we announcing something, Ruhel? Yes, I think we should. <laughs> Perfect. So, so I... we have um, two uh, sponsors joining us, um, of course, in addition to Meta. And that's Photon and Shapes XR. And um, both are actually going to join us as mentors, as advisors, um, and also going to host some of the workshops um, on, on the 8th of August we already mentioned before. Maybe maybe I can add a few things as well. I mean, uh, let's start from Shapes. I think everyone who are a little bit of hacking, iterating, prototyping on XR, knows Shapes XR. They are uh, really uh, powerful in terms of uh, ideating, iterating fast, and then quickly coming up with a, some kind of like a user journey uh, before you dwell into Unity or Unreal, right? So uh, we are really proud to have them uh, as uh, the partner, global partner. So they will be part of the uh, live workshop day, which is happening on the 8th of August. Uh, more details will be uh, shared there. And they're also joining to some of the destinations, uh, locations as well in person. Um, we are trying to at least have one design focused person that's helping you on the design side of things, especially since it's quite short period, like 48 hours you have, uh, which includes also sleeping time. So two, two to three days work uh, hackathons are quite intensive. So we want to make sure that you are actually well prepared in terms of uh, before you start actually development. Uh, so shapes will play an important role for the success of the teams. And Photon, right? I don't know how many of you know Photon, but if you have a little bit done uh, multiplayer apps, multi-user uh, uh, collaboration uh, projects you probably know pun at least from uh, years ago uh, and now they have photon fusion quantum so they are really looking forward to give um, supervision and uh, also giving some kind of like expert advice as you may know uh, meta under meta presence platform there is new meta building blocks released focusing on uh, multiplayer, multi-user, mostly on uh, co-location or shared experiences. So um, we know we know that uh, having a um, multiplayer game uh, or app on a hackathon environment is challenging. That's why we are bringing probably the only and the best experts that you can find on the industry to make you feel comfortable while you are. Uh, uh, challenging yourself with a multi-user app. Uh, they will be uh, at the hackathons and they will be supporting through both Discord and in some destinations in person. And they will also be uh, re releasing a very nice live workshop that you can ask any questions. So we strongly recommend that if you are into multi-user experiences, please, please join to these sessions. And now we have building blocks. So there is a, even a much easy way to hack for a multi-user app. Um, I want to check if there is any further uh, questions. I think we answered all of them. Perfect. So yeah, the big announcement of the day, I don't know uh, if there is any, uh, maybe uh, let's first go back one more, go back well before we announce. So let's see, first of all, before going to that, uh, uh, we, uh, Check if there's any questions from anyone. Um, so um, 
we I, w I want to actually share my screen one time because uh, I want to show the mixed reality course if you haven't done this before. Uh, so can I share my screen quickly? Perfect. So give me one second. Yeah. I hope now you can see my screen. Perfect. So uh, just to clarify for everyone, uh, the local price pools are being delivered during the hackathon. So uh, just to tell everyone here that you are in the hackathon, during the hackathon, you are actually uh, having the chance to uh, win the uh, local price pools. So, uh, but the global is happening after all the um, hackathons finished. They are looking at Meta uh, is looking at the uh, winner of each location, and then they are deciding how to uh, move forward for the global uh, pool. So it will not be immediately announced after you finish the hackathon in the um, in the local uh, in each local area. You will just learn the winners of the local prize pools. Just to let you know, because as you can see. We are in four destinations in four different city in uh, three different uh, dates. So we can uh, we have to wait for all the hackathons finish to uh, to make Meta and other uh, judges decide on the global side of uh, uh, pool. Um, one thing that I want to also mention is um, as you see, these are the three categories. So uh, these are the main categories, but in addition to that, we will announce a few more uh, categories as well, which is addition to that. So please keep uh, like a, uh, keep uh, your inbox uh, open uh, to make sure that you receive more details about these extra categories that we will announce. Uh, but what I should do now, right? That's uh, maybe a question that you want to ask today. Uh, how can I uh, best prepare? Of course, you cannot start development, but you can ideate. But if you are an amazing Unity developer, Arnold developer, or VR developer, but not so much into mixed reality yet, uh, we strongly uh, recommend that you go through this course that we built with Meta Engineers. Uh, this course is uh, available for free. Uh, the code of this course is probably being shared by our team in the next few seconds. Uh, so you can actually uh, go through this course. As you see, already 5,376 people uh, enrolled to this course. So we would love to see you there as well if you haven't done any mixed reality application. When we say mixed reality, um, maybe Oytun is here. He can also give some um, uh, details, but we are not only talking about, okay, I have a VR um, app and I'm adding pass through. When we say mixed reality, we are talking about actually all the possible things that you can do. Uh, pass through, of course, um, the uh, space, room setup, uh, scene understanding, room manager, um, and anchor, spatial anchors. Uh, and of course, there's also many other meta presence platform capabilities from voice SDK, audio SDK, movement SDK for interaction, interaction SDK. So, and this is actually one of the categories uh, of uh, like a, for uh, winning. Uh, that's maybe I can also share from previous uh, uh, hackathon how actually it works uh, for the um, uh, grading. Of course, we have our own grading, but it's, uh, you can also look at uh, the terms, but uh, as you can see, these are the um, most important three um, criteria that you can see that it should be a unique concept. So uh, if it is a very similar one is on App Lab or on Meta Store, um, your chances of getting high grades from this compelling concept will be low. So if I were you, I would look at this uh, Meta Quest Hackathon and App Lab before uh, thinking of an idea. I can also share this link with you so you can also see that. Uh, let me share now. Uh, you can also go to the winners there, which I will also share a little bit. And use of capabilities, that's actually the, the things that I just mentioned. If you don't know MetaPresence platform, 
we strongly recommend that you go through this and it's a very uh, easy to finish course actually i don't think it will take even more than a week uh, with a couple of hours of uh, commitment and the last one is quality implementation both on the presentation but also on the um, uh, quality of like how polished the total app looks how the interface and the user experience is actually uh, something that um, is uh, important for 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 uh, for the users so uh, these three categories will be the main criteria um let's go through one just a little bit of tips for everyone here so let's look at the winners right because this is actually a very nice um opportunity here to see for example this is an app that uh, you actually use um, uh, cooking, like a recipe following, but with AI. I will go go to that uh, in a bit because we have an announcement about AI. Um, there is a, a very nice mixed reality robotics lab. So teach me something, right? Uh, so I'm learning robotics with the help of mixed reality. There is a jamming, jamming uh, uh, winner. Uh, and there is a miniature world um, app. So as you see, these are very, of course, these these projects are being built in not a short period of time, but I would definitely say that um, these are very inspiring to give you an idea what kind of ideas, projects matter for the judges and for the hackathon. And this one is also a very interesting game. It's also a little bit of casual game. Probably some of you know Worms game, uh, like a very popular uh, IP uh, on gaming game world, which is Worms. And they did the mixed reality version of this. Um, actually, the person who is doing that was actually X Team 17, who is the creator. They are the creator of Worms. So they, they win this. And this one is also interesting, especially for those who want to do multiplayer. They did a cross-platform um, mobile to VR uh, game that you can see behind the physical walls. Uh, and then uh, a very fun game. And yeah, the, the last one is uh, actually Flavior, which is um, cooking. You are literally uh, looking at your, uh, maybe I can actually open that because it will give a lot of idea. So um, I don't know if you can hear, but uh, basically I can show here, narrate for you. So you are opening your fridge here. And then the AI captures and then tell that, uh, okay, uh, you need to do this kind of uh, recipe. And then they are, they are actually exactly, as you see, it's taking the screenshot and then uh, you uh, can create, it's actually recommends you uh, different recipes fitting to what you have as an ingredient in your own um, uh, fridge. And yeah, uh, actually, this uh, these kind of like uh, topics are highly uh, preferable. And uh, if you have chance to think about this, it will be great. I hope that AI is something that is also uh, interesting for for you, uh, because um, we have some actually important news about that. So let me also share that with you. Um, one second. So the big announcement. Is there any question so far before we move forward about the projects or about the... Um, uh, the coupon our team is sending now uh, again. So probably uh, it's so much uh, uh, used, so it's sometimes depleted, but uh, they will definitely make it active. Uh, any that's... further questions? There's one question from Bogdan. Can Hacker use any plugins and assets like sounds, art, etc.? Very nice question. Um, as long as it is publicly available and it is licensed for you to use, yes, you can use that. But it should be publicly available that not only you, but other people can also uh, either purchase or download it. Thomas? Thank you. That's it. 
Can Perfect. Q&A section. Any other? Okay. So let's do the big announcement then. Okay. Um, I will stop sharing screen because I need to uh, show the uh, sound as well. Let me give me one second. So uh, and uh, from for the other session, we have also uh, other people coming as well. But um, let me let me look at if there is anyone else asking questions. Um, okay, I think we are we are good to go. Perfect. Let me share screen. Yeah, actually, uh, team team formation is important. Maybe maybe we can a little bit go to that uh, one more time. I just want to make sure if there is anyone who is having a, a team formation request. Um, that's you have multiple options. One is Discord. So there is a team formation channel which is exactly for this purpose. Please, if you have already a team that you are looking for someone, right there. If you are already uh, only a solo hacker that you need uh, to join a team or build a team, feel free to share there. Uh, just a small tip for a, from a person that already saw a lot of hackathons. If you have a very concrete idea, it's highly likely you will have more chance to find uh, nice um team members because because this means that your interests will align okay so try to find um uh like a, a, an idea if you don't or try to join the idea that makes sense for you okay that's very important by the way our team uh just sent the code again uh, i just want to make sure that everyone has this xr hackathon discount code so it's basically like it, it makes the course free. Unfortunately, Udemy has a system that doesn't let us to uh, post a free course, so we have to use this. Otherwise, uh, everything is uh, all the all the um, course is uh, free. Okay. Without further ado, let's um, let me look at our if some of our teams are here. Um, yeah, we can maybe we can uh, start announcing now. I'm also sharing sound, so please let me know if you cannot hear sound. I hope you can see the screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But no sound. How about now? What kind of animal do you see here? All right, how about, how many fingers do you see on my hand here? Three fingers. Can you tell me a little bit more about this image? The image shows a hand wearing a black smartwatch. The hand is held up against a plain wall, making a gesture resembling the number three. Any idea what kind of watch this is? It's an Apple watch. Uh, I'm what kind of again. animal do you see here? A cat. All right. How about how many fingers do you see on my hand here? Three fingers. Can you tell me a little bit more about this image? The image shows a hand wearing a black smartwatch. The hand is held up against a plain wall, making a gesture resembling the number three. Any idea what kind of watch this is? It's an Apple watch.
Perfect. I hope uh, it was interesting enough for every one of you. Um, what we believe that this will open up a lot of opportunities for you. We are really proud to announce that we will be the first hackathon providing a specially prepared Unity plugin for you so that you don't need to deal with so much AI integration, integration of uh, the um, LLMs, etc. And then you will purely focus on your mixed reality concept. So I showed you the example of uh, this cooking app. So imagine that when you have a contextual awareness of that much, what you can create, right? Uh, I mean, to my mind, I mean, already five, six ideas coming to my mind, how it, it can be interesting. As you may have heard uh, between us since uh, uh, right now, meta people are not there yet. We can talk a little bit. Of course, the um, none of them is using uh, like the, the camera access data. So it's basically uh, capturing uh, directly from camera. So it's not like something that you are um, actually uh, using or hacking or something, but it's actually a very nice opportunity because even an image is giving a lot of idea to especially uh, lots of uh, different new uh, features of, for example, OpenAI chat GPT for all uh, can already understand from that or Gemini just announced uh, similar features. So we would like to uh, give you the opportunity to become the first innovators, early adopters to utilize XR and AI on a hackathon environment. Uh, and it will be only provided, especially till the hackathon finish, it will be only provided to hackers, not outside. So you will be probably the first ones who is benefiting from this. So our team did this for you. So you don't need to worry about the, the, the AI side. I would love to hear... Uh, we will announce that tomorrow so uh, with, the, with this video so uh, i will also uh, share on my linkedin as well so it looks like we get a lot of um, uh, interest as well so i hope that this will take a lot of attention of uh, researchers and hackers uh, let's talk about what it does uh, i think that's also important right uh, so uh, i know that maybe some people from coming from from the for the other session but it's nice that we are actually telling something that can be helpful for everyone so um the other session will start in a few minutes so please bear with us but in the meantime we are talking about how hackers of global xr hack will have an access to a unity plugin as you see here um you can access image to, uh, on your meta quest and talk to an ai assistant and you are sending an image to API, and this API is already connected with uh, AI uh, tools, so you can actually benefit from that. Um, it should images have to be taken with controllers through this meta system menu bar, and this package will not allow you to access the live camera feed of MetaQuest. Uh, instead, it's much more like uh, utilizing, um, taking the image and then uh, manipulate images from storage okay just to make sure that we are um, because the the live uh, access is not possible live camera feed access is not possible um if you have any questions on that happy to uh, yeah thomas your comment is very valid actually um if i were you uh, i would not think of oh okay there's a quest headset uh, lots of uh, like a, a different maybe possibilities pos happening but ray-ban and other kind of like a smart glasses is the part that you can actually make ai much more useful as you may know that uh, there are actually lots of changes happening both on um uh, beta apple and lots of uh, big companies towards that direction so uh, you will probably be creating uh, role model concepts that everyone will be inspired from so we are really uh, excited to work with you uh, and then there will be also a live workshop day as you know and then it will be focusing on these AI tools that we are providing and it is not enough we are also announcing another uh, AI tool 
which is a little bit uh, different. It's much more like a real-time computer vision tool, like a tracking, uh, like object tracking or object detection is the right word. Um, so through the pass-through stream that you can connect uh, to object detection uh, providers uh, with YOLO, and then uh, there's a seamless integration happening there. This will also be uh, available, but this requires desktop setup and OBS for processing because uh, you need some kind of like a casting uh, to make this happen. So imagine that you can understand contextually what's happening around you. Imagine that you can also detect the objects around you. So, and imagine that whatever available on the market right now as a utility, design, hobbies, skills, that you can utilize these superpowers that we are providing only to these hackers. So um, I know that we are all uh, almost time, but I just want to tell you exactly. Uh, Ocean is uh, announced as well. Uh, Ocean requires a external camera, like a GoPro to put onto your headset. So that's why I'm saying we are the first, because this will be the first time that you can actually use the camera not the camera access, but the, actually the, the screen capture from the from MetaQuest. So this is uh, this is uh, not uh, possible uh, for that. Fabian is one of the creators. I don't know if Fabian would you like to say a few words before we move to the other session that everyone is coming by. Hello everyone, by the way, uh, whoever coming, uh, we are starting the panel in a few minutes. We are just making an announcement um, about the. Um, um, AI tools that will be provided to the hackers for the global XR hack. Maybe I can um, invite Fabian to the uh, call if he's available. If not, we can already um, finalize the session for now. Hey, everyone. Hey, hey, Fabian, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, thanks for um, for adding me here quickly. So any any maybe expert comment that you can share for both APIs? Yeah, so first of all, um, uh, the the first one, the capture kit, I mean, it's it's very self-explanationary. Uh, Robbie has uh, implemented something that's really cool, which helps the hackers to get started in Unity very quickly. Um, I think the, the interesting feature here is that with a shortcut, uh, you can simply take a screenshot and then uh, just hand it over to, um, in this case, it's it's actually ChatGPT for O model, and then just let it analyze it. It's really quick. So I've been um, contributing a little bit so that we can clean up the, uh, the screenshots very fast again. Um, and um, so this one is, is really precisely for contextualizing the stuff using a uh, large language model. Um, so that means it won't be useful for, let's say, real-time tracking of something, but it's more like a yeah, contextualized um, conversationary approach, taking a screenshot and letting it process offline. It will take three to five seconds. It's immediate, uh, very fast. I was very surprised how fast it actually is. Um, and of course, has the power of everything you can expect. Um, whereas the second slide, so the one that um, Fahan showed earlier, so this was initially um, um, influenced and done by uh, by Lucas. Um, and what he actually did is use the, the Quest stream to uh, hand it over to a desktop um, application running in Python and then let the live stream of the quest being analyzed using uh, YOLO um, by Ultralytics um, to, to classify stuff that is visible in your live stream, uh, including the pass-through. Um, the reason why we have to go this way is still because we cannot directly access the quest um, video, but uh, the things that we are currently working on for the hackathon is to make this into a very easily implementable and accessible Unity package so that everything you set up can be set up very quickly um, so that you do not waste time during the hackathon by 
learning and understanding how that stuff works and how you have to set it up uh, and make it very, very easy, accessible. Uh, so you can just get started with being creative and using um, the powerful tools that you had have at hand. We're currently mm. also investigating, but this is just, you know, TBD. Um, if we can even uh, get the Quest out of, uh, the, the laptop out of the equation and run everything directly on Quest. But for the moment, and that's why we designed this slide this way, it is Quest to laptop analyzing and using Lodo on the desktop uh, and then streaming back the results to Quest where you can process it in Unity in a very, uh, let's say, convenient way. Yeah, thank you very much, Fabian. I think uh, for the other session, uh, everyone arrived. So we can actually make a very nice transition between uh, for those who just joined, just to thank you, Thomas, Albert, Oytun, for your time. Uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, we did a very uh, interesting hack info session because as you know, um, only four to six weeks left for the next uh, hackathon starting on four destinations and the the announcement we did here that uh, these ai plugins uh, will be uh, available only to the hackers joining to one of these destinations uh, it will probably one of the first chance that you can actually um, utilize not only the superpowers of meta presence platform but also uh, recent advancements of AI and combine this in a very interesting way. Actually, um, uh, this is actually a nice opportunity that we can actually utilize uh, maybe today while discussing about different ideas. Yeah. Uh, just a small context since I'm already sharing my screen. Uh, the hackathon is an uh, event happening in four different destinations. Um, I don't know if you can see my screen, but uh, it will happen in London, Cologne, Germany, uh, Istanbul uh, and Stockholm. And it will happen in uh, different um, dates. So if you are interested to visit one of these cities, or even maybe if you are local, come join us. Uh, the the we have already prize pools on each location, and on top of that, Meta will provide some uh, funding opportunities. Um, and already um, shapes photon, as you see, as announced along with Meta. So we are really proud to um, make see them as uh, one of our uh, uh, partners. Uh, the categories will be um, on these three, which we will, at least on the these parts, we will go into that right now because the panel is about much more on the lifestyle side. Um, but uh, we are happy to, to see everyone here. Maybe one last slide I can show here very quickly. Sorry. Um, yeah. Maybe we can show this as a final thing to show that there are many experts who are already very uh, well known from Meta, from different studios uh, that accepted to support the um, hackathon on different destinations. So happy to see you there. Uh, our team will share the link of the hackathon. So, uh, and we will a little bit talk about um, how hackathons are also important as well as funding and accelerators today with by listening some journeys. So um, thanks for joining for the hackathon side. Now we are starting the, uh, actually the panel together with, um, um, from with Meta team. Um, Maymay is here. Thank you Maymay for joining. Uh, she's the person actually behind the accelerator and the uh, um, uh, funding uh, with Anand. Uh, I think Anand cannot make it today, uh, but uh, Mei Mei is the person actually who you will be dealing with if you are applying to this um, uh, accelerator. So that's a great opportunity that we have her here. And in addition to that, we have um, Steve and Emre who are actually sharing their journeys. Uh, so. Um, maybe uh, I would suggest since we already talk about hackathons, I, I want to give the stage to Steve uh, so maybe he can also tell his journey. 